Greetings. I'm Richard Walker with Home Choice Network. And today we are going to take an adventure and travel to Slovakia. Slovakia is a very interesting company and is located rather well in the center of Europe. However, before we get started, I would like to explain a little bit more specifically about Home Choice Network. This is a local home care agency, which has been in existence for over 17 years. We are proud when we state that we believe in independence for seniors and peace of mind for families. We are licensed by the state of North Carolina and regulated by the Department of Health and Human Services out of Raleigh, North Carolina. We take pride in professionally training our caregiving staff. And we have re a registered nurse on site that is directly supportive to all of our clients. Now, let us get ready to travel to Slovakia. As I mentioned, we are traveling to Slovakia today, and I'd like for you to know that this is the Slovakian flag. And before we start our travels, Slovakia, like all countries, has specific wisdom that I think we all can learn from. And I'd like to give a couple of quotes regarding Slovakia. The worst distance between two people is misunderstanding. And I think that needs to be repeated. Let's keep in mind that the worst distance between two people is misunderstanding. There is another quote that I think has a lot of wisdom to it, and that is, do not regret growing older. It is a privilege denied to many. Consequently, I would like for us to take a look at comparing the size of the United States and Slovakia. And this will be easy to do. As you can see, this is basically the Eastern coast of the United States. And if you know right in the center where Indiana uh, is located, you will see Slovakia. So consequently, you can see that the U.S. population is 328 million, but Slovakia's population is only 5.5 million. So there is a significant difference between Slovakia and the United States. I also would like to take further steps and go forward more specifically into Slovakia at this time. And note that we are in Bratislava, which is the capital of Slovakia. Bratislava is right across the border from Vienna, Austria. And Slovakia is bordered by Poland to the north, Ukraine to the east, Hungary to the south, Austria to the southwest, and the Czech Republic to the Northwest. Here is Bratislava, Slovakia, Slovakia, which as I mentioned, is close to Vienna. Now I'd like to talk a little bit more about the castle in Bratislava, which dominates the hillside, which was built in the ninth century and stands overlooking the Danube River. Bratislava is the largest city in Slovakia. Its history goes back to the 10th century when it was part of the Moravian Empire. However, its in-depth history takes us back to the Stone and Bronze Age. Later, it was annexed by Hungary in the 11th century from 1536 to 1783. It was the capital of Hungary, which it was Pozoni. It is recorded that German colonists in the 13th century founded Bratislava. And as you can see, by Slovakia being in the center of Europe, 
various nationalities and bordering countries have played a key role in Slovakia's history, including Rome and Russia. We must keep in mind that Slovakia was a once part of Czechoslovakia and at that time was dominated by Germany during World War II. 1992, a new constitution of independent Slovakia was signed in the castle that is overlooking the Danube River that we just noticed a few moments ago and acquired its independence from Russia. But now I would like to go to the Sobar Mountain. And I'd like for you to know that at the bottom of Sobar Mountain is Nitra, one of the oldest cities in Slovakia. Nitra is at the foot, as you may have noticed, at Sobar Mountain. And consequently, Nitra is well known for its unique pottery. Note the various colors and designs of Nitra's pottery. Now I'd like to also identify that Nitra's castle, and there's a, a very prominent castle in Nitra that was built in the 11th century. The core of the castle is known as the Bishop's Cathedral and includes the residence of the Bishop. I'd also like for you to know a little more of a higher view of the grounds of Nietzsche Castle and the entrance to the uh, castle in Nietzsche, which is just right outside of Bratislava. Now, I would like for us to go and uh, out of sight of the Bratislava and Nietzsche and take a look at the countryside. You will notice that the countryside is a lot of large, vast land and rolling hills. And one of the main reasons I was uh, very surprised to see that I did not see very many villages and I did not notice farmhouses out in the countryside in Slovakia. But this was due to when the Russians ruled uh, Slovakia and Czechoslovakia, they wanted folks to stay in villages where they had a more direct control over the people. Now we've gone to Modra. Modra has a population of around 9,000, which is just outside of Bratislava as well. And it's known famously for its porcelain. And you will note that the uh, porcelain here is a white and light blue color and consequently uh, is very well known throughout of Europe and is rather uh, famous for uh, the production of porcelain from Modra. Now, I mentioned earlier that Rome was involved in this area and Marcus Aurelius, uh, legions occupied Slovakia during the days of Rome. And this took place during 174 and 180 AD. And Noric steel was produced in the Slovakian area during this period and steel was known as Noricum or from the area of Noricum, which was a Celtic kingdom located in Austria which borders Slovakia. Konici, Slovakia is the second largest city in Slovakia, has a long history as an industrial production gateway between the East and the West. And Kosice is the proper pronunciation and I'd like for you to note the architecture of this beautiful city. One of the things that I've enjoyed while traveling in Europe and Slovakia in particular is the various types of architecture that one is able to observe. And uh, Kosice was a very beautiful city. Also, Kosice played a very key role with military productions and in particular for the Russian. Uh, armaments that was needed during World War II. This was also a popular area for the Romans in 
working with steel as well. The United States has also had a strong interest along with other countries for the quality of steel produced in uh, Kosice. Now I'd like to go forward and take a look at what I found very interesting during my travels in not only Slovakia, but other countries. And that is the various costumes that the local folks will wear, uh, not only on a regular basis from time to time, but in particular during their holiday seasons. Now we are ready, I feel, for some more Slovakian quotes and the origins of these quotes uh, are very interesting. Without caution, even cleverness is futile. Another quote was, what is the most, want is the most resourceful master. I think that deserves repeating. Want is the most resourceful master. And another quote is, even a giant oak was once an acorn. This one I really like. And the last quote that I'll be giving from the Slovakian culture is, others read your face, God reads your heart. Something to think about. I discovered that people of Slovakia to be as all people around the world, always willing to give a smile and a helping hand as you offer the same in kind. I hope you've enjoyed our Slovakian travels. And until we meet again, I hope you enjoy any travels that you decide to undertake. Traveling is educational and exciting, as I mentioned before. Have a great day.